As you probably know by now, I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today we are going to be reviewing Dance Hall of the Dead by Tony Hillerman. It's one of the mystery novels in his Lephorn and Chi murder mystery series set in the Navajo Nation, Southwest United States, part of the Navajo Reservations, Lieutenant Lephorn, Lieutenant Chi, murders happen, and they go solve them. And I'm telling you, Tony Hillerman writes like no other mystery writer you're ever going to read. I mean, this guy writes with a sense of time and place and connection to nature that is second to none. I mean, he also writes just about the Navajo people, the Hopis, the Zunis, the Paiutes, everybody that is just down there in the southwestern part of the United States in these Indian reservations. I mean, they he, give, he, he understands the spirit of a haunted peoples of the Southwest. I mean, these, and if you, you know what I'm talking about, if you've ever walked through the Southwestern deserts or the Red Rock Cliffs, you know that they're just infused with a magic and an atmosphere that you just can't describe. And if you've lived down there, like, you know, the Navajos have lived their entire lives down there, generation after generation, this mysticism that follows this landscape that is just infused into this landscape, the mysticism, the folklore, the supernatural just essences that just creep out of the sand and the rocks and the sage and the animals. It's just everything about it is magical and Tony Hillerman captures that beautifully in these books. Better than anybody else. So if you want to read a mystery series, a murder mystery series, it's not just got great murder mysteries, but it's also set on a landscape that'll just that you can just drink it in, you can just absorb it, it's delicious. And the way he describes it is just amazing. I mean, this guy can write, this guy can write. You know, he, um, he talks about, gosh, in this book, Dance Hall for the Dead, what a great title, Dance Hall for the Dead. Lieutenant Joe Lephorn and Sergeant Jim Chi Mysteries, right? God, I love them, I love them so much. You know, this one's about two murders, two boys, two young boys, a Navajo and a Zuni are found dead. Well, actually, they go missing, but all that's left is a pool of blood where they used to be. And that's it. That's the only clue that they've got to go on. And of course, like every mystery in the series, and there's a lot of them. I mean, Tony Hillerman probably wrote 20 of his own and his daughter took over the series when he died and she's probably got five or six in the series. I've got them all upstairs. I brought a few of them down here. Um, but you know, as our Lieutenant Lephorn investigates this case, he starts to run across a lot of things that don't add up that make it seem like maybe there's something more going on than just a straight murder. Maybe this is, maybe this was religious in nature. Maybe this is about supernatural events you know when you're reading these books you don't feel like you're reading just a, a straight murder mystery you feel like you're kind of reading like a half a supernatural horror novel or a ghost story or science fiction novel where a lot of the indian folklore and supernatural stuff is sort of creeping through the seams creeping into the story interwoven into the story and you're just questioning everything that's going on like wow is there really some sort of magical force out there in the desert you know, and the peoples that have that lived out there, and I grew up in Sevier County, Utah. I grew up down in the Southwest. I know there's, I mean, the people down there, they really do believe in magical, mystical stuff. And how can you not when you live in such a dramatic landscape, a dramatic, unexplainable landscape, right? And so these two boys go missing, and now... Our Lieutenant Lephorn has to go investigate why and where and who and if they're still alive or dead or whatever and also he's got this pool of blood to go on and so off on the mystery we go and let me tell you something um you know the 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 uh, 
the mystery is I don't get into spoilers, so I'm just giving you give you a brief little overview. The million he runs into an archaeology an archaeological dig that you know maybe that plays a factor. He's, there's a commune of hippies out there living on the reservation. Maybe that has a but you know there's a lot of different suspects, a lot of crazy stuff going down, and you know he creates a a real tension between the Navajo religion and the Shalako religion and the Zuni and Hopi lore. That just in just just is, is just, like I said, it's it's layered over this landscape, like just ghosts, just spirits and ghosts layered over the landscape and throughout the story. It's just fantastic stuff, just fantastic stuff. So if you like murder mysteries, with a touch of the supernatural, kind of like an X Files, Tony Hillerman's Lep Horn and Chi series, man, you can pick any one of them up at any time. They, they, I mean, they are written in a semi-chronological order, but they are all standalone novels. You don't need to be afraid of just picking any one of them up, and you'll love it. And you can read them in whatever order you want. It don't matter. Oh, you know, but I prefer to read them uh, in chronological order. You know, why not? I mean, it's the funnest way, right? I mean, and then you get to read them all. Anyway, normally I don't do this, and because I read so poorly, I don't do it justice. I read out loud poorly. I don't do it, but normally I don't read in my book reviews. I don't read from the books, but I want to give you a sense of some of the flavor that that Tony Hillerman puts in his novels with with uh, the Dance Hall for the Dead. You know, I I just read a, a page here, so you get a feeling of kind of the flavor of his writing and just the mysticism and the um, atmosphere he creates in this Navajo nation that we are reading about. So let's go, and I'll try to read it slowly so it makes sense, because like I said, I suck at reading, and this is not gonna do it justice, but let me try. He sat on the outcrop, a slender boy with black hair falling damp across his forehead, massaging his legs through the cotton of his sweatpants. The memory of the laughing Navajos had turned his thoughts to George Bowlegs. He approached these thoughts gingerly, careful to avoid any anger. It was always to avoid, be avoided, but now it was strictly taboo. The Koyemshi had appeared in the village two days ago, announcing in each of the four plazas of Zuni that eight days hence the Shalako would come from the dance hall of the dead to visit their people and bless them. This was no time for angry thoughts. Bolegs was his friend, but Bolegs was crazy, and he had reason to be angry with him if the season did not forbid it. George had asked too many questions, and since George was his friend, he had given more answers than he should have given, no matter how badly he wanted to be a Zuni, to join the Fire God's own Badger Clan, George was still a Navajo. He had not been initiated, had not felt the darkness of the mask slip over his head, and seen through the eyes of the Kachina spirit, and therefore there were things that George was not allowed to know, and some of those things the fire god thought glumly he might have told George. Father Inglés didn't think so, but Father Inglés was a white, man, a white man. Behind him, above the red sandstone wall of the mesa, a skyscape of feathery cirrus clouds stretch, stretched southward toward Mexico. To the west, over the painted desert, they were flushed with the afterglow of sunset. To the north, this reflected light colored the cliffs of the Zuni Buttes, a delicate rose. I did not do that right, that beautiful writing justice with my shit reading, but I hope you understood why I did it. The words are magical on the page. The words jump off the page with absolute, you know, enchantment. For the Southwest, and a love for the Southwest that Tony Hillerman obviously has. You've got to read, oh, and just reading that out loud right now, I just realized, you know, when you read Audible, when you listen to Audible books, and you hear the professionalism that those readers read with, just, and, and, and compare it to the crap amateur performance you just got from me, you will appreciate those Audible books that you read all the more, you know, like I said, get into the Lieutenant Lephorn and uh, Sergeant Jim Chi, Jim Chi police procedurals, the Navajo tribal policemen, that they investigate murders, supernatural murders, murders full of witchcraft and stuff. And the fact I wore my Salem, Massachusetts 
shirt. Because there are witches and stuff in these books. It's great, great. Dance Hall of the Dead. I give it an 8.5. I think it is a solid, solid little mystery novel. And you can pick any one of these up. They're only about 250, 300 pages each. You can pick any one of them up and read them in a day. They are fantastic. You just need to get them. Just go get them.